mein Sohn, was biegst du so bang dein Gesicht? Sich vater du den Ölkönig nicht, den Ölenkönig mit Kron und Schweif, mein Sohn, es ist ein Nibelstreif. Kind, komm nun mit mir, geh schöne Spiele ich mit dir, könnte Blumen sie dann den Strand meiner Worte hat und haben gewandt. That, of course, is the inspiration for the new Arknights piece Zwieling Stürme im Herbst, theme number two from the Arknights new release. That, of course, is Earl König. The lyrics go, Wer reitet so spät durch Nacht und Wind? Who rides so late through the night and wind? Is it the father with his child? He has the boy in his arms. He holds him safely. He keeps him warm. My son, why do you hide your face in fear? Father, can you not see the Earl King? The Earl King with his crown and tail? My son, it is a streak of mist. Sweet child, come with me. I'll play wonderful games with you. Many a pretty flower grows on the shore. My mother has many a golden robe. Father, father, do you not hear what the Earl King, Earl King softly promises me? Calm, be calm, my child. The wind is rustling in the withered leaves. They are riding through the woods. The child sees the Earl King, and the father says, Don't worry, mind your own business. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. But then at the end, the father shudders, he rides swiftly, he holds the moaning child in his arms. With one last effort, he reaches home, the child lay dead in his arms. So what is the Earl King? Wikipedia says that in European folklore and myth, the Earl King is a sinister elf who lingers in the woods. He stalks children who stay in the woods for too long and kills them by a single touch. The name Erlkenich is name used in German Romanticism for the figure of a spirit of the King of the Fairies. It's often assumed that the name is a derivation from the Elenkonge, or Elf King in Danish folklore. The name is first used by Johann Gottfried Herder in his ballad Erlking, Erlkenichs Tochter, an adaption of the Danish Oluf Han Riede, and it was taken up by Johann Wolfgang von Goethe in his poem Erlkenich, which was set to music by Schubert, among others. It's a pretty incredible thing. It's a hard piece for singers because you have to play three different, four different characters. You have to play the Earl King, the child, the father, and of course, the narrator, which is who starts this piece. And so it's very interesting how difficult that is. And of course, it's actually one of the hardest pieces to play by pianists. Pianists really struggle with the fast tempo and rhythm, rhythmic intensity of the bu 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 and then I also love how the uh, Earl King here is very playful. It's very playful. Now I'd like to go and listen to the Arcanite's version of this and also what does Zwieling Stürme in Herbst even mean? It translates to Twin Storms in Autumn. Pretty cool. Let's listen. Dope. So right away we get the same thing we hear in the piano. Bum 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 bada 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 bum 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 bada 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 bum bum bum. So cool. Dope. That's so dope. That's so dope. The way that we then go, ha, ah, ah, and we launch into this choral thing underneath is really, really satisfying. So you have your opera, then you have your chorus, and then you have the Earl King. So, so we are really taking this and reinterpreting it to the ninth degree, which is super fun. I've never heard the Earl King taken and interpolated out of the 1800s, if you, if you will, or the 1900s, I should say, and that is incredibly cool.
Now, I would say one thing that's really interesting is that this does repeat quite a bit, but what's really satisfying to me is that this this melody withstood the test of time. Ba ba da ba 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 bum bum bum. That's actually pretty scary, isn't it? That gives a sense of fear, a sense of discomfort, a sense of dis-ease. It really ba 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 bum bum bum. It's fairly simple, and yet it's deeply unsettling, which it creates a feeling of tension. And this is obviously a, a battle theme, which is so appropriate for Earl King because it is a battle between son, father, and Elf King. Elf King is trying to leverage the child and the child is afraid. You feel and hear the child's terror as the father tries to protect him all within that couple little measures. <laughs> We deviate away from the Earl King and we, we go this with this bum 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 super cool, super satisfying, super simple again. Da 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 but it always has the sound quality of desperation, of necessity, of terror, of conflict. It's very life or death, which is what the scope of the original poem is. That's so, f oh God. Da, da, da. That choral ascending and descending is so incredibly full of menace and malice. And we've got this EDM beat pattern inside here. We also have this incredibly satisfying uh, layering of instruments, classical virtuosic string playing. Right, we've got all that. And then on top of that, we also have this uh, beautiful uh, sort of choral, like sort of it really, really is this guttural feeling. It's super satisfying. And here too in the piano, boom, 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 boom. We have this big open chord that's going up and down. The open chord um, is useful because the open chord gives us this feeling of uh, space and vastness. And that's really uncomfortable and fearful. Uh, even though open chords tend to allow us to feel warm and a feeling of energy and a feeling of uh, space. In my head canon, I'm envisioning the forest in that wooded area while we're riding on our horse trying to get to our house, knowing that our child is running out of time and we don't fully understand why and so you just feel what should be comforting with big open chords ends up feeling very fearful and, and concerning. Did you hear what a nice touch that was? But you shut up. That but you shut up. That was uh, accompanied by the chord. It was like basically like triple triple layered. So they were all in unison as they slid up. It was really impressive there. <laughs>
I can't tell you how satisfying it is for a person who literally spent a decade trying to master some of these really difficult art songs from folks like Hugo Wolf, Robert Schumann, Franz Schubert, of course, uh, Richard Strauss. To hear this reinterpreted in a modern way is so satisfying. And I don't know how my uh, classical music colleagues would feel about it, but I certainly am embracing the fact that they would take something that's so well-known in the uh, leader uh, community, leader being song in German, and uh, and use it uh, in such a fantastic way. It's very epic and very intense, and it doesn't really let up, and it can make the ears hurt a little bit because it's so intense, but that's also a really satisfying thing to listen to and to experience, and I'm very grateful that Arknights is willing to go to bat with something like this and to really dig into that classical theme. I mean, this might be the thing that gets me to play Arknights. I, I have to say I'm... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't really, I don't know. If you like the sort of stuff I do stream on Twitch, basically every day, come say hi and hang out. I'd love to have you there. Uh, feel free to like subscribe. There's lots more Arknights and other games on the channel that you should check out if you'd like. And as always, thanks a ton and I'll see you later.